Is mountain biking dangerous? That is a very loaded question that we're going to try to unpack in this video. And obviously this is coming from my perspective. Every single person out there is going to have a slightly different interpretation of what that means because to answer the question, is mountain biking dangerous, really is gonna depend what is mountain biking to you. And I'm gonna talk about that later in this video. The reason I'm doing this video is because I witnessed an incident a few weeks ago when I took my son to North Carolina to ride the downhill national at Ride Rock Creek. And as many of you know out there already, there was a fatality in the Cat 1 race. Now fatalities in racing, even downhill, are extremely rare. But I was there and I witnessed it. And it, it's one of those things that will leave a mark on you for the rest of your life. And so again, I'm gonna give my perspective on this. What makes mountain biking dangerous in, in any form of cycling is the fact that pretty much every time you crash, you will get injured in some way, whether it's a tiny little abrasion all the way up to a broken bone or the worst. Now, obviously the worst is extremely rare and anything in life can be dangerous. Driving your car to the grocery store can be dangerous, but we do things to minimize the danger. Again, what makes it dangerous is just the fact that, that the, the surface that we're riding on is unforgiving. I grew up snow skiing, and I, as a teenager, I was skiing almost every weekend in the wintertime. I grew up in the Northeast. I never, as far as I can remember, got injured. And we did some crazy stuff on skis. We were that group that just jumped off of anything we could find. Now, obviously today the sport has progressed with people are doing insane stuff, but the nature of what you're falling on <laughs> means that you either slide or you land on something soft. Now in the Northeast, the snow is pretty hard most of the time. But even still, when you fall, you're not getting scraped up and body parts aren't coming to as much of an extreme stop. And so I don't, I don't remember anybody getting injured. Now, I, obviously people get injured snow skiing. And this was back in the day when nobody wore helmets. Now, when we ski, everybody wears a helmet pretty much. So let's talk about mountain biking. Personally, I cannot stand being out of commission. And it's one of the reasons why I choose the type of riding that I do. One of the main reasons I ride a mountain bike is to be outdoors. I want to be outside as much as I possibly can. And I'm very fortunate to live in an area of the country where I can enjoy outdoor sports like cycling, kayaking all year long. But I can't stand being out of commission. So I not only limit my mountain biking to the safer end of the sport, but I also don't push the limits up to 100%. My son does a different type of mountain biking. He does slope style and he is extremely talented just from a natural skills ability. Now we live in Florida. He went up to North Carolina. He, he literally hadn't been on his mountain bike in a couple months. He rode extremely smooth, extremely fast, put in a really good downhill run. But his natural ability is really high, partly because he started riding when he was about three years old. He started jumping a bike when he was about four years old. So he likes the, he, he competes in slope style and is starting to compete more in downhill. And so he has been injured more than I have. Uh, fortunately, not very serious, a broken wrist and a separated shoulder uh, and tons of bumps and bruises, but nothing real serious. But he pushes the envelope more than I do. In fact, the, the incident where he broke his wrist, he was going down a, a trail in DuPont, went to hop over a ledge that ended up being higher than what he thought, didn't get his back wheel up enough hit the ledge at a high rate of speed and went over the bars. Very rare for him. Uh, he, he very rarely crashes, but ended up with a broken wrist. Now, I would have slowed down and ridden over the ledge as opposed to try to bunny hop it at full speed. But if you push the envelope, that is going to open the door for more injuries. One of the reasons I'm making this video is 
I don't want people to, to, to be discouraged in getting into mountain biking thinking that it's an extremely dangerous sport because you can make mountain biking very safe. And I, I choose the more cross country and trail side of riding versus jumping and racing downhill and even racing enduro. There was a point of time where I thought about getting into enduro, COVID hit, we had to put those plans on hold and I just never got into it. I walked the downhill course at Ride Rock Creek and there I rock, walked the hardest uh, segment of the, of, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the enduro course. I walked the enduro course and I walked the hardest segment and there was stuff on there that I was like, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't ride that. And they, they actually took the course and took it off the main trail onto a harder section. And there were some rock gardens that were, they were just gnarly. So I really enjoy the, the type of riding that I do. So I mentioned the, the reason that I ride is to be outdoors. The other reason is to improve my overall health and fitness. And that has so many benefits that I'm not gonna get into in this video. Um, but I'll just mention them super quickly. And that of course is improved cardiovascular health, more energy, better mental health. The list just goes on uh, of the health benefits that comes from doing routine cardiovascular exercise. I don't wanna run. I need, more I, I need more engagement in a sport than just running. And so mountain biking provides that. Personally, I think mountain biking is one of the greatest sports on the planet. And I want everybody to do it and I want people to do it safely. How you view mountain biking and how you view your progression is going to depend how safe mountain biking is for you. I have not known anybody who does the type of riding that I do. Again, it's cross country and trail. When I say trail, I love going to the mountains and riding up mountains and then riding down up to Black Diamond. I kind of, you know, I've done double blacks. I kind of draw the limit at Black Diamond uh, just because of the fact that I just don't want to push it too hard and walk away or, or not walk away from a ride. And so I know my limits. I will stay within those limits. You're gonna to have to put up with the cicadas. I don't wanna do this video indoors. Like I said, I like being outdoors. So they're, they're out, it's summer, it is what it is. So how you view progression is, is going to depend how safe it is. I just watched, uh, I watched it again. I wanted to watch it before this video. Uh, the, the video made, put out by Paul the Punter. So there's a video that Paul put out called Why I Quit Mountain Biking. And it's very informative actually. It's, it, he did a great job with that video. And uh, I won't get into all the reasons, but one of the reasons he quit mountain biking is because he didn't want to be associated with the risk side of mountain biking where people just, it's the, it's the you got this culture, it's the just send it culture, encouraging people to do things that they should not be doing. And he just didn't want to be a part of that. Now that, there was other reasons that he mentioned in the video of why he stopped mountain biking. Now, that was one of them. I thought that was a very interesting perspective and it brings out a good point, and that is the fact that if, if you have this mentality of I'm just gonna send it, I'm just gonna push it and hope for the best, you're gonna get hurt. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Progressing your skills is something that is so important. That's why I don't really jump that much. Now, when I raced BMX, yeah, I jumped all the time. Uh, that was part of the sport, and that was the part that I really enjoyed, honestly, about the sport. I would just, I would just go out and jump. I wouldn't go out and, and practice riding fast. I would just go out and jump. And, and, but today I don't, uh, I, I jump a little bit, but nothing, nothing like my son does. I'll do drops up to three or four feet. I actually feel more comfortable on drops than, than jumps with lips. I just pretty much don't do jumps with lips anymore. Uh, I've had a few bad crashes and it's just, it's just not worth it for me. I, like, like I mentioned earlier, I cannot stand being out of commission. Being able to get outside and hike and kayak and mountain bike and gravel ride it's just a part of my lifestyle that it's so important. And to, the thought of like being off the bike for, for, you know, four months due to a broken collarbone or wrist or something like that, I just, I don't want to be there. And so I stay, I keep it as safe as I possibly can. So progression is very important. And also I'll just mention that if you are, you know, so let's say 30 or 40 years old and you're wanting to get into jumping and you've never done it before, keep in mind that you probably should hire a skills coach. 
it's not going to come as natural as a kid who started like my son when he was four years old jumping a bike and he could jump pretty good at five six years old like he was he was getting some pretty big air and so it, it, jumping to him is so natural whatever there is our is our jump his jump i sh should say where he does 360s and backflips and all kind of stuff it's so natural to him and so my point is if you if you want to progress please do it safely and understand that there is a risk. Uh, the, the more you push the envelope, the more chances you have of, of being injured. And I'll go back to downhill. I, I, I love cross country racing because to me, pushing myself means pushing myself physically. How long can I ride or how fast or how long and fast can I ride? I like that side of the sport. One of the things about sport is pushing yourself, whether it's golf or tennis or, or downhill mountain biking or cross country, you, pushing yourself is, is enjoyable. It's to have goals, to, have, to see progression. Learning and progressing is something that it, as we as human beings, it's just a part of us. It, it makes us come alive and feel alive. And so it's important. But to push myself in an endurance race or a cross country race has totally different consequences if I come up short. <laughs> the, really, the worst thing that can happen, unless I just push it way too far into the red zone and maybe it's hot or something, uh, the worst thing that can happen is I just bonk and I have to ride back to the finish line slowly. That's the worst of it. If you're pushing yourself in a downhill race, then the worst thing that can happen is you crash and have a really big injury. Downhill racing is really all about how fast can I get down this mountain without crashing? I mean, that, that's the sport if you really think about it. And there's so much to it. Like my son spent two days picking out his lines for his downhill race. So there's the mental side of it. There's the calculation. He loves picking out lines and, and, and he just loves the strategy of it. It's, it's a great sport, but it's not a sport that I really want to get into. And he, he even made the comment, uh, at the race, like before this serious accident happened, he was like, I don't know how much I want to get into this sport because the guys who are at the very top are going extremely fast. Uh, so he, my son for now rides 90 to 95% of his limit, even when he's racing. And, and he is a very smart rider. Like even though he does backflips in 360s, he progressed at a very calculated rate. Uh, and he will he will calculate a, a trick t to the the deepest level before he does it. And so it, again, it, it's going to go back to to being smart about your progression. Again, I want to see people enjoy this amazing sport, reap all the benefits you can from it, but do it in a safe way. So that's you know really the point of this video is mountain biking can be safe. Is it a safe sport? Uh, probably not. Uh, there are safer sports out there. I do flat water kayaking right behind me. That little hut back there has four sea kayaks that I, we love doing. And uh, that's, a, that's a pretty safe sport unless you get out into like, you know, super rough seas, then um, you, can, you can, like I said, you can make anything dangerous. Uh, a friend of mine was telling me that a, a kid lost his life in a batting cage uh, due to being hit with a bat. So, yeah, any sport can be dangerous if you don't take the right safety precautions. And that is one of the, the, one of the reasons I want to make this video is view, view mountain biking as a sport that has potential dangers that you can mitigate by putting safety margins in place. Even wearing the right equipment, like wearing knee pads can, can minimize a, a knee injury. Uh, when you crash, you hit your knee pretty much every time. <laughs> and so, you know, like I said at the beginning of the video, the nature of the terrain that we ride with dirt and rocks and roots means that you're going to get some type of injury, even if you just fall over. <laughs> you can bruise something. If you're brand new to the sport, find a skills coach, man. Find someone who can help you progress and learn, even if it's just getting down a blue trail safely, uh, understanding your riding position, your braking, uh, how do you approach, you know, little drops and stuff like that? It, it's so important. Enjoy this sport. It is an amazing sport with a lot of benefits. And it, like anything in life, it, there are risks, but you can mitigate those. 
and you can ride smart. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I did not script this video at all. It was just kind of from the heart and just wanted to have a, a conversation on this topic. I really welcome comments and feedback on this. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is my perspective. All of you are gonna have a little bit different perspective on this topic. Uh, let's keep it encouraging. I know that some of you will have some stories, you know, and if you wanna drop those below, like what, what some, like what the worst injury you've had mountain biking, let us know in the comments. And what were you doing <laughs> when that happened? That's, that's, that's also very important. So yeah, let's make this a, a discussion type uh, video where, where there's a lot of comments and yeah. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.